Hi everyone, welcome back to this channel. Today we are going to be talking on how to prepare a survey plan. That is a black copy. In preparation of a survey plan, there are two copies. One is called the black copy, also known as the customer's copy. That is the one you are going to present to your client. Why the other one is called red copy? Our record copy. The record copy is the one that you are going to submit to the ministry, to the states, so the general's office for lodgment. So we are going to start by preparing the black copy. The first thing is that I've gotten the coordinates of my point of my survey plan or the boundary of my work. So I've gotten the coordinates. So what I'm supposed to do is to copy this coordinate like this. It is in Eastings, comma Nottings. I'm going to copy it and come back to my AutoCAD. Then first set my unit in AutoCAD. And after doing that, I will just select polyline. Come here. This is polyline. Then I will come to this command line. Then I will paste the coordinates. Now I'll press enter. Then I can escape. Then Z enter, E enter. And this is my perimeter. This is how the land looks like. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start filling in the details. The first thing I want to do is I want to check the area. I'm going to select it like this. And if I look at the left pane, left side of my screen, I'm going to see the properties. And if properties is not showing in yours, I think I'm going to show you on how to bring the properties out. So just press CH enter, CH, which will bring out the properties. And that's how to bring out the properties. So on clicking this, you see the area of the land, which is 669 square meters. So I want to write down, write that down somewhere or keep it to for that use. So the first thing I want to do now is I want to insert my bearing and distance into this orb. And I'm I'm going to do that by selecting it like this and I'm going to explode it. Exploding means that all this perimeter are are joined together. If I click on it, I will only see the the collective property so I'm going to make it line by line so I'm going to press X and that's going to explode it so I'm going to click on line I can see the properties of the line that this line is 18.69 and the bearing is 76 degrees 30 minutes so I'm going to start by entering my text that is my bearing and distance so I'm going to come to text here I'm going to select it like this so I'm going to 76 points, 76 degree, 76. To press your degree, you're going to press shift and five twice, five, then D. You're going to turn to degree. I think I've forgotten the distance, the, the minutes. So I'm just going to go 35 minutes for, for now. I'm going to come down again for the distance, I think 18.69 meters. I'm going to when this year would select okay you can see that it is extremely small so i will highlight on it and change the height the text height here to 1.2 why am i using 1.2 is that 1.2 is like a relative standard it's not standard standard but it's a relative standard for one plot two plots work like this to use so you can see that my text is not properly aligned so i'm going to come to this properties again and see come to justify here this top left i'm going to edit it and change it to middle center i'm going to move it from the middle and put it here so i'm going to check the bearing and distances again then replace it 18.69 that's correct then 76.30 instead of 35 so this is 30 then there's this space i can deal with here after doing that, then I want to I want to rotate this text so that it will fit in with the with the line. I want to click on the text, then come to the properties again and come to rotation. I see the bearing, the bearing here. I'm going to select the bearing. 
So this bearing is 76 degrees. And in this time, we're going to be using D for a degree when we are entering a degree in properties. And the minutes are going to be 30 minutes. Enter. You can see this is the power orientation and we are good to go. So that's how we're going to enter for the next one too. So to enter for the next one, I'll just copy and paste Control C and V. Let's put somewhere around here and check the line again. The distance is 36.703. But I'm using two decimal places, so I'm going to leave it at 36.70. Double click on it. 36.70. Then check the bearing, which is 157 degree 11 minutes. So I'm going to do the same thing here. 157 degree 11 minutes. And I want to space this very well because the line is longer. So I'm going to do something like this. So I'm going to change the rotation also to the rotation of the line, which is 156. Sorry, 157 degree, 11 minutes. So I want to move this to the middle. This triangle shows the middle and you cannot, if the triangle is not showing for the middle in your AutoCAD, just come to this post map, this small icon here, and you're going to select midpoint. And that's the, that's the middle. So I'm going to, away from that and the next thing is i want to do for this bottom too so i'm going to be forwarding it and you are going to get along with it We are done with inserting the bearing and the distances. So this is the survey plan. This is the perimeter and the bearing distance has, has been placed properly. Now you will, I want to show you this particular one. I didn't change the orientation for this one. Looking at this, you see that this bearing is two, 256 and it is greater than 180. So if you select the bearing and you come to rotation and you press 256, you're going to turn it upside down, 256 degrees. You can see it now. So if it is greater than 180, you're going to subtract one. You're going to subtract 180 from it and enter the remaining. 256 minus 180 is going to give us 76. So 76 degrees, 51 minutes. That's what we're going to input here. 76 degrees, 51 minutes. And we have it in the proper way. And that's how we're going to do it for every other point in case you have it in your own work. Next thing I want to do is I want to put my beacon. So there are so many ways of doing that, but actually I have a way of doing mine, which is using point. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come to draw here and I'm going to select points. I see multiple points here. Click here and select the point. You can see there's a there's a there's a it's showing me, it's giving me direction on how to pinpoint it. So you can select it by using OSMAP here. OSMAP is here. You cannot see OSMAP on your own screen. You can press F3 or function F3, which will bring out the OSMAP. And that's how I've selected the points at the four corners. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come to utilities here. I'm going to come to point style. So there are so many points. This, this one that is going to represent the this one represents the pillar very well. So I'm going to change it to set size in absolute units. And I'm going to change the point size to 1.2 or so. You know, we use 1.2 for our text and also we're using 1.2 again for our point style. So I'm going to select OK. And that's how our pillar looks like. So I'm going to be adding circle inside of it. I'm going to be clicking it. I'm going to be selecting this. Now, 
I think it's okay like this, but if I press it like this, you can see that it's showing me this green anchor or direction that I want to point. I want to select the point, but I don't want to select it. So I'm going to come out and off my host map here. Then I'm going to leave it somewhere like this. I think it is nice like this to have it like this. So I'm going to be copying this to all the four edges. I'm going to on my host map back. Then select this. So I'm going to be copying it to all the other headings. So I'm going to do zoom in, select it. I'm going to copy and to copy, you can say copy here or press C O enter. So copy, I'm going to be picking it from here. Put it down. Make sure you zoom in very well to know where you are putting it. It's in the right place. So after selecting it like this, next thing I want to do is I want to change my perimeter to to red it's supposed to be in red color I'm going to come to the colors here also on the on the properties you can also select it change it from here but I prefer doing everything from the left side here so this is the perimeter in red color I'm going to be trimming these guys before I do the trimming so I want to check the area once again so there are so many ways of the of checking the area like we entered in the, in the first instance, we plotted our, our boundary using polyline. So we know the area already. Or if you don't know the area, then plot, we plotted its only line. So you can do that by pressing area, A R E A, press enter. Then you are going to select all the four edges. You can close back to the first one, doesn't matter. But make sure you select all the corners in the plot. So one, Two, three, and four. So I've selected the four. I'll just press enter. And if you look down here, you will see the area which is 669.73. This text area can actually be, this command area can actually be expanded or, re or reduced. So you can see it's 669.723. So I'm going to be writing it somewhere. So because we're not going to be adding our borders and every other thing to it. So we're going to be six six nine point seven and six seven three, I guess. Meter square. And if I want to add my square. I'll just come to symbol here and I'm going to see squared and that is it. I can also change the size here by selecting all and come up here and change the text and select maybe 1.2 then press enter then okay. So I'm going to check my area once again. The area is 7 to 3 rather. 669.723. So I'm going to be editing this by double clicking on it. 723. And this is how to plot our black copy. Now, to put the, the borders, now, there is no standard way of putting the borders, but personally, I will tell you the form, the, the, the dimension I use. I'm going to come to Notepad to press dimensions so that you can see. Now what I do is that for one in 500 work, that is work of one plot to plot like this, I make my length to be 160 and my breadth to be 100. And if you do it like this, the living is going to fit into your legal paper, except in your state or where you are doing it, you want to use A4 paper or any other paper. But for my own, from, from where I come from, we use Legal paper, and if you put this dimension, it's going to fit into it. So let's try it. So I'm going to come to and select polyline again somewhere, and I'm going to select my auto here. Yeah. So select, click on anywhere, come to the right side, let it then press 100, 100, 
now that's my 100 i'm going to zoom come down and this one i want to press 160 now 160 enter 100 enter i'm going to close it enter so this is 100 by 160 so i'm going to just highlight everything i'm going to move it i'm going to move using this move then click on it somewhere around here then my oh snap my sorry my auto is on that size like this i'm going to off my auto back and put it somewhere here then you can now start filling your details like the the title and other details that needs to be there so we are going to do that in the next video thank you